Hi everyone, this is Jom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we are regularly making videos on different topics. So we have started this series on declared structures where we have already completed how you can do the detailing of our RCC building in declared structures. And now we have moved to steel structures. So in this series, we have already made the foundation, done the retaining, that means the reinforcement in the foundation, and then we have moved to the modeling of column. In today's class, we will talk about the base plates. So base plate is the plate that is acting as a junction between the column and the foundation. So let's see how you can model that and how you can modify the properties of base plate. So as I said, we have modeled the footing, then the column and then the rafters. Now it's time to learn about the base plates. So this is what the base plate looks like. So it is a thin plate and it is just at acting as the junction of the column and the footing and it is bolted like this okay so if you want to go for the base plate then you will have to first go to the application box and over there you will have to search for application number 1042 so you can easily find that like this or you can simply just search for base plate and you will get a bunch of options like 1004, 1053, but this one is the most convenient one. So we will discuss about this one. Now, once you have selected this one, then you will have to select the column and then the footing. And you will see that your base plate has been applied. So this is a very simple thing to do. Now we have to learn how we can modify these base plates. So for that, we can simply come over here and just double click on this one and it will open up the dialog box where you can change the properties of the base plate so if you want to keep some property uh, that is uh, mint over here then you can also do that or you can just uh, leave it blank so if you will leave it blank then it will just go by default okay or if you specify some like a distance for uh, from the column then you can all so specify that okay so like this you can simply apply all these things now you can see how this base plate has been arranged now the next thing is the parts okay so in the parts here i have provided the thickness of 20 mm then the breadth of 550 and the height of 90 that means this is your breadth so i will just uh, press ctrl plus r so that it is easy to mark the rotation so let's press ctrl r select a point and now you can simply rotate your screen like this so this will help you to rotate your screen for a specific point so like this you can see over here we have already marked it okay so now this distance is your 550 and this distance is your 900 then the thickness of this base plate is 20 mm okay now the next thing is the parameters so over here you can always choose for different parameters like i'll just click on modify and you can see how this is being changed over here okay so let's uh, close this one and get rid of this now open up the properties and over there we will simply change the property from here click on modify and you will see it will show you the different methods of just making the base plates so i will go for the bolted one so i will stick with the bolted one now from here you can also choose different types of the columns that is needed and what are the distances that you want to specify over here and where are the locations where you want to specify the base plates so i want to just uh, apply it around it so i am just applying it around it if you want to just uh, apply it like this then you can also choose the distances like this okay so like this you have multiple options which you can use okay then comes uh, 
whether you want to design it or not whether you want to just uh, go for the bearing or you want to keep it default okay then comes the factored axial dead load okay then the minimum fcu so all these things that you can simply provide over here okay then you can also just uh, provide the component from here like what kind of component it is is it cast in place or pre cast retaining or steel retaining what kind of component it is okay next thing is the input value so column plus base or base plus column what is your input value okay so like this you can simply provide the uh, needed details next thing is the up direction where you can choose for like auto or plus minus y plus minus x and plus minus z next thing is what are the other details that you want to provide like the end details intermediate or the intermediate detail reverse okay then comes the anchor rods and here you can specify these points so basically all you need to do is to simply just specify the points like this then you have to specify the distance like how long your base plate will go okay so you can just uh, check this and make this yes or you can simply leave it default but i want to uh, like make these things visual so i am clicking on yes over here okay if you want then i can also show you uh, like uh, how it will look like when it is at default okay so click on modify so it will look in the same way okay so let's make it yes these three points i would like to keep yes okay so you can see what are these points you can simply just notice the distances from here you can modify then if you want then you can just reverse the direction of this one like click on modify and the volts will be reversed like this then if you want to add some kind of extra plates then you can also add some extra plates over here okay so that's up to you so from here you can simply choose where and how many extra plates you want in your base plate okay so like this you can simply choose or you can stay with the default one now the next thing that is present over here is the bolts so if you want to specify the distances in the bolts then you can also do that now here is the catch what you have to specify must like uh, how many bolts you want in this direction and how many bolts you want in this direction and what should be the distance among them okay so that is the point of concern over here suppose i want four volts in this direction then i will click on modify and you will find that you have four volts in this direction and if you want to just uh, make this like uh, four volt in this direction also then you can simply modify that so that depends upon your requirement but my requirement is being satisfied by the three and two volts specified at or you can say spaced at 250 mm so i will just leave it like this okay next thing is the analysis that is done whenever it is required so guys that was all about the base plates and i hope you have liked this video so hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel and if you want to start your career as a building consultant then you can simply go ahead and find the link in the description you have to just watch the free webinar and you can book a strategy call with us that will be absolutely free for all of you so go ahead watch that and start your career as a consultant